Hello and welcome to the Tarkas Zone. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the game of Black Desert Online. But before we get into that, I just wanted to show you that I just uploaded a new uh, video last night for the fire department I work on. I'd appreciate it if you take a look at it. The guys, I bet, would uh, appreciate it too. We try to put them together often. We've got about 38 views now. Well, we'll move into my video. We're going to talk about the Blackstone Powder. Yes, again, we're doing the Blackstone Powder. And some of you are going to be scratching your head saying, Why, Darkus, why? And the reason why is I've had a request to do another one. And so we're going to call this one Blackstone Powder 3.0. And, you know, it has changed. Every time the game has changed, every time something changes in this process people have questions is it still profitable is this going to be worth it to me because we can agree that the prices of the gems have gone up but if you do what i'm about to tell you to do you'll be able to determine your profit gains with this so it's just as simple as what i'm going to about to explain so the first thing i want to show you is i have no blackstone powder i'm not doing a a trick here to have it already in my inventory before we begin it's got I've got none you can look at it scroll down I've got no blackstone powder in my inventory so let's let's move on so you want to talk to the marketplace and what you want to do is go to black crystals here or magic crystals magic crystals go black in my because of the blackstone powder okay so what you want to do is go to one that's 20 five or in the 20 range that you know it is one it is one for 21 so let's click on that and there's only one so we'll buy it 21,000 okay so there we go we bought the that one gem and there it is so what you want to do is you invested 21,000 into this gem and your processing it doesn't matter if it's as high as mine whatever yours is is going to determine what you get out of this okay so what you want to do is you want to hit the L command and then you want to hit grinding and then grind that one gem just do that one and we're going to do it so I can show you and again you could email me comment me what's your processing your processing is making a difference here it is but you can determine what that profit is because what's going to happen is when you get done doing that one, it's going to return Blackstone Powder. And you can see it over here where my mouse is. It's, I believe that says 32, right? All right. Now, right now, the Blackstone Powder Dust, I'm going to bring up my calculator here, is going for 1700 Now, we invested 21000 so at 1700, at 1700 silver, and let's hit the I command again just to determine we got 32 of them times 32. That's 54,000. Now we did determine that we paid 20, 21, right? Thousand for that gem. So that's 33,000 silver. And you're asking yourself, well, geez, that's not a lot. But think about this at a grander scale. Let's say I filled my entire inventory with these type of gems. You know, this is like microeconomics. It just starts adding the smaller portions. Now, you're going to ask yourself, the auction house is going to take their cut. Even if the auction house took 10K of that, which is a ridiculous amount, you'd still end up with almost, du you're doubling your money. You're basically investing 21000 to get all that back plus some more, right? Now, you're going to scratch your head and say, well, geez, my processing is so low. I'm not going to even get close to 37000 I paid 25000 silver for my gem, Tarkus, and I got twenty-seven out of it. Well, okay. Well, I've got a solution for you. Don't buy the blue ones. And let's go into uh, the, the marketplace here. And I'm going to show you the different colors here. You've got green gems. You've got these like dark orange gems. 
then you've got the blue gems and that's what I'm I'm telling people to buy are the blue ones uh, and then you've got the yellow gems and you always want I mean look at this this is a blue gem but you're not gonna pay 300,000 that's ridiculous you don't want to do that because I know my sweet spot per gem is 40k I can spend 40k that that uh, 34 we just said that is a low RNG for me I usually get uh, close to 44 to 47 every time I break one down but again it's gonna be different for you so what you're gonna say is okay I'm not making that it's not gonna be worth it to me well get the green ones these green ones will still make you money and you're only investing five you know six thousand let's let's put that up there so if I bought two of these gems okay and that would be twelve thousand silver invested and what I'm going to do is get rid of the black stone powder that is in my inventory to the registration so you also can see that I'm not lying to you that it sells for seventeen hundred Look at that, 1777. I'm going to sell that so we have none in my inventory. I'm going to back up here and then I'm going to look at my inventory. These are the two gems we paid six grand a piece for, the green ones, the green, green named. And I'm going to hit L. And what's great about this, if you've got the same gem type, you can continuously just break them down. So envision, envision my inventory entirely full of the same type gem I could have bought all those gems that were available put them in my inventory and just sat here for five minutes and, and crush them all down see I got nine for that right so we had six thousand per gem see I'm still making money I'm waiting for that second gem to crush every time you crush a gem in this game it will close your inventory on you well, that time it didn't. Oh, because it was the last gem. So I ended up with 17. So think about it. At uh, 17, at 17,000 for those two, right? And we, and you multiply, well, no, sorry. I put too much. Uh, we got 17 minus or times 1,700 because that's what they sell for. So you're going to get 28,000 silver for those that we just made minus your investment. So you're still making 16,000 silver. And again, it seems like that's what you'll make. And the green ones, the green gems are just not that, you don't get as much. So each green gem, as you can see, you're getting less than 10 or and the blue ones you could get up to the 40 range so you just got to determine which ones you want to uh, buy which makes sense for your pro your processing number go well, back to the magic crystals here so again just to recap you're looking for things around the 20th 25,000 range for me I mean that's that's a sweet spot I would not even bother trying to buy these because you got some that are in bidding and that slows down your buying process so scroll down until you get that sweet spot and there's a full page of them and there's nothing in bidding because you just want to go like here these are all 24 and there's nothing in bidding so I can just gobble these up because the bidding process slows you down you have to wait 30 seconds to buy the next one you can't buy it while there's one in bid so I just bought them out I just bought that page of gems out I'll just continue going like you don't want this one for 300,000 you want you want these cheap ones 22,000 I'll buy these out it's always nice if I find like a page that is just you know, I'm not gonna bother buying just one it's gonna 31,000 that's still within my sweet spot and there's an entire bunch of them here because with me I can spend up to 40k per all right so this is the magic of this is you just step back and if you've got a crafting uniform or if you've got something that can boost your processing make it faster you know whatever is going to help you and go again go to grinding click on your jam tell it you want to process all of that type and and start and what's going to happen here is these same type gems I will get all those done and then the processing task will stop and then it will ask me to queue up another gem type so if you can find 
the same gem and its type and just fill your inventory with it, then you've got no extra work here. And when you're playing prime time, that's always happened. Like last night, I continued to fill my inventory with gems of the same type because they were always available on the auction house. So when I say prime time, you're looking around 8 p.m. Eastern time. If you if you tr you know United States Eastern time, if you try to hit it around that time, you're definitely going to score. You're going to find you know gems are plentiful, and you can do this for an hour. And if you did it for an hour, you're looking, depending on your processing, you're looking at 30 to 40 million profit just uh, doing this for an hour. So we're almost down. It's gone through most of the gems that I, and I'm already up to 254. 298. And then, like I said, it's going to stop. See how it stopped? And it's going to say, oh, you know, queue something up if you want. And I'm going to have to queue up the next gem type. And then it will it will crush these four and then stop. And then I'll crush these. So if they were all just these, I would be able to just sit here and wait for them to be done. But you can see the ridiculous amount of profit you're going to make here. Now, here's a little secret that you should know about that and it's not really a secret because if you watch my other videos you'll know this that you could hold on to this black stove powder and use it as an ingredient to something else that sells very well and right now what I typically do is I uh, I run these factories and they're not running right now uh, because I'm lacking the blackstone powder to, to make them work but what I've been making is the uh, grade 3 Armor reform stones, it takes 40 blackstone powder. Those are what I've been making. I've been making quite a bit of them. And when you sell five of them, you're going to make about a million, a million per stack of five. And they sell all the time. And if you go, to, well, I can go back uh, one screen here and hit M. Go back so my inventory pops up. You can see I've got a whole ball. I got 52 of those plus 876 of the weapon ones that I've been making. And they all sell. They all sell for millions. And that's what I spend my blackstone powder on. But you can just slap them up on the auction house if you want. You know, it's it's up to you because you can just sell the raw component. Just doing this last so you can see the process. And that's really it. So again, if I've told you something you already knew, I'm sorry, uh, I was asked to present this again. And the way I only can tell you is buy one gem. See what one gem scores you. And then make a determine where your sweet spot is for buying into the gems. You know, it's going to change definitely based on your processing. But as your processing goes up, remember, you'll have access to the gems that I have access to. So that sweet spot goes from I have to spend 25 per to 30 to 35 to around 40, and then then you know then you're still you're in a zone where pretty much everything's going to make money for you. All right, well I thank you for joining me. This has been the Tarkus Zone.